are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And you know, even uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 10, Pastor Nathaniel put this on the healing CD, and we say it at every God Heal service. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say, let the weak say, I'm weak. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Because if you want to go for the best, you have to make sure that your atmosphere is lining up for the best. I was reading something by one of my favorite authors, Bob Harrison, and he said that he was at a time in his life where he was really battling the fear of failure and negativity and all type of um, wrong thinking and ideas and uh, just a panic of failure. And he was dealing with financial lack and concern. And he said he realized that he had to do something drastic to change the way he was thinking, to change his atmosphere. And this is what he said he did. He said he went through the Bible. And he got some three by five index cards and he went through the Bible. And he found every success scripture, every scripture that talked about our success as children of God, as people of God, every scripture that talked about a financial miracle or breakthrough. He said he wrote them down on a three by five index card and he kept that stack of cards with him and he said at every moment every free moment he would pull that card you know if he was at a red light he'll pull a card out and he'll rehearse that scripture he'll say that scripture and then he said not only did he do that he said he bought 12 tape recorders 12 tape recorders and he said he put these 12 tape recorders in different places around his house he put one in the bathroom one in the kitchen one in the bedroom you know just put them all over the house one in the basement put some in one in his car one in his wife's car he just put them everywhere because he said wherever he went he wanted to always have God's word playing or something motivational or inspirational playing and what he was doing he was creating a flood he was creating a flood into his thinking, into his mind, into his heart, into his spirit. He was creating the atmosphere for going for the best, for having the best in life, for having the best that God had for him. And he said he did that for a while and it changed his life. He said his life began to burst forth with power and with creativity and with miracles and with fresh new ideas and fresh new dreams. He said fresh love rose up in him, just a fresh faith rose up in him. And he said it changed his life markedly from that moment to this one. All because he created a flood to change his atmosphere. Turn to your neighbor and say, check your atmosphere. Check your atmosphere. Check your atmosphere. Check your atmosphere. And here's, here's another um, key for going for the best is expose yourself to excellence. Expose yourself. We'll call that number five. Expose yourself to to excellence. In the Bible, you'll see this in several different places about exposing yourself to excellence. Proverbs 13 20 says, um, He that walks with the wise shall be wise. Now it didn't notice that it didn't say it didn't say that you have to be wise. It says, he that walks with the wise. So you just got to have enough sense to walk with somebody with some sense. And then you can pick up their wisdom. And that's what, that's what the Bible says. You have to expose yourself to excellence. You have to expose yourself to people who are on a greater level than you are. You have to expose yourself to people who've been doing it longer than you have who are doing it better than you are, people who are operating on a higher level than you are, you have to expose yourself to it, and it, it, it inspires something on the inside of you. You'll find in the book of 1 Kings chapter 10, I believe it is, the queen of Sheba got up from Africa and went to go see a king named Solomon. And she was a queen herself, 
but she wanted to go see somebody who was doing it on a different level. And when she walked into Solomon's palace, the Bible says there was no more breath left in her. She was taken by the excellence, the level he operated on. She saw the, the, the apparel and the attitude and the happiness of his attendance. She saw the way everything was laid out and she noticed his operation. She noticed his wealth. And the Bible says there was no breath left in her. She says, son, she says, sir, the story about you, the half of it hadn't even been told. She exposed herself to excellence. She exposed herself to somebody doing it on a different level, a higher level. You have to expose yourself because when you expose yourself to somebody on a higher level than you, it inspires something on the inside of you. It reaches on the inside of you to bring out, it challenges you, it, it encourages you, it makes you want to do better when you expose yourself to excellence. I remember hearing Magic Johnson Magic Johnson spoke at Michael Jackson's funeral celebration, and he said, he said, I used to go and see Michael Jackson perform. And he said, he did it with such excellence that it made me perform better on the basketball court. He said, now they were totally under, uh, unrelated, but his excellence in performance stirred up something in me. It made me be a better basketball player. Folks, you got to get around somebody who's doing it right. You got to get around somebody who's doing it with excellence, who's operating at a higher level than you are, and it'll do something to your life. Something will rub off on you. Something will get on, I mean, it'll get on you. It'll get in you. I love whenever, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a great athlete. <laughs> I'm a great athlete. But I'm going to tell you, when I perform at my best, I perform at my best after I have just watched the NBA championship or the playoffs. I mean, it's something about it. It's something about it. When I'm watching uh, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, there's something that gets on the inside of me, and I take it outside. I take it outside, and I play at a higher level. I play at a higher level. I play at a higher level because I just expose myself to excellence. I used to love to see Tiger Woods win and I would love to go play golf after that because in my mind it's pulling out of me and I'm saying man I want to I hit this ball like Tiger. It pulls something out of you to, to perform greater than even you thought you could. You have to expose yourself to excellence. You got to expose, turn your neighbor and say expose yourself to excellence. And also say stay away from the pastor on the basketball court after he has seen <laughs> After he has seen Kobe. <laughs> Here's number six. Number six. I'm running out of time, so let's hurry up. <laughs> Here's number six. Do your very best. You want to go for the best? You have to do your very best. If you want the best that the world has to offer you, you got to offer the world your best. You want the best God has for you? You got to offer God your best. That's all God requires of you is your very best. I'm going to tell you what excellence is. Excellence is doing the best you can on the level where you are. So you can't compare yourself to anybody else because they might be on a different level. All God requires of you is for you to do the best you can on the level where you are. Are. That is excellence. Turn to your neighbor and say, do your very best. Do your very best. Do your very best. You know, the scriptures say, even God, when he speaks to us concerning our work, he says, work, do your job as if you're doing it unto me. In other words, do your best. Do your best. So what if you don't like the ball? So what if you don't like the come? God said, it doesn't matter. You work like you're working for me. Do your very, I want the best out of you. Notice what the scriptures are saying to us. 
I want you to go to airjesus.com and you can listen to this message in its entirety. Going for the best part four, message number 7491. You can also email it to a friend absolutely free of charge. Thank you so much for joining us today at Brothers of the Word because brother, you need the word. Brothers of the Word, when well, the voice of God is heard, Brothers of the Word, there's a word from God for everyone. Brothers of the Word, because brother, you need the word. Brothers of the Word. Brothers of the word.